Are you looking to build some fun bloomers? Well, now that I got my lace dyed with some tea to match my muslin so it's not so bright white, I can definitely print out this pattern right here, which I patterned in Adobe Illustrator, and get creating. I am super pumped to do this. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is print out my pattern and then lay it out so I can start taping it together. I always have my pattern numbered, so the puzzle of getting it all taped together is a little bit easier. And then all I'm going to do is line up all those lines and start taping. It does take a little bit of time and it does take a little bit of tape, especially for how uh, much extra fabric I have to gather in on these bloomers. But I am super excited to be finally starting my biking costume with making these bloomers. Then once it is all taped together, I'm going to cut it out. I'm just gonna use my rotary cutter and cut all around it, as well as the waistband. There it is. Now it is time to lay out the fabric. I am laying it out so that there is a little bit extra at the bottom so that that is where I'm gonna be actually cutting out my uh, waistband. Now that it's laid out, I'm just gonna put a little bit of weight on it and cut it out. There it is. Ooh, time to put it together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to serge all of the edges. I'm doing this so that it'll help keep the longevity of the garment and just help it keep it nice and clean on the inside. Then it's time to add the waistband to both legs. So when I patterned it, I had each leg patterned separately with no outseam, just an inseam. So I'm adding the waistband to the top of each of those legs. I'm pressing it open and then up. And now I'm going to do the crotch seam. So I'm doing the backs first. And because it is muslin and it's very easy to work with, I don't actually have to use a lot of pins because I can manipulate it as I'm going through. And I know I just have that 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now when I'm getting that crotch seam, I or the, um, the inseam, I am going to pin it to help maintain and make sure everything's going well, since I want that all four corners to meet nicely up in the center. There we go, press it open one more time, and it is on to the waistband. So I'm going to iron it down 5 eighths of an inch all the way around, and then I'm going to iron it down again so that I have a nice uh, crisp line so I can stitch in the ditch from the front side and not have to worry about placement. I did forget to pattern in a facing down at the hem so I just sewed on a inch wide bias to have that nicely covered up and create a casing. Then I stitched that casing, I turned the back the inside so right at the inside seam I could easily feed the elastic through. Um, at a later date, but that will just finish off that hem instead of doing a turn turn like I had planned. Next, it's time to add on that lace and I'm just going to stitch it right on the edge, going through the thickest part of that lace right at the top and the very edge of the fabric. I did miss a few times and I did have to go back in a few places to actually make sure I grabbed everything, but for the most part it worked out perfectly and I'm super excited with how that tea dyeing finished off for that lace as well. And next, I'm going to stitch in the ditch all around on the waistband. And because of all that prepping and because of how the muslin reacts, I actually don't need to pin it very much to actually get it. I did leave a small opening there so that I could feed my elastic band all the way around my waistband. Now it's time to sew the elastic. I sew a square with a diagonal to really secure in that elastic. Now it's time to put the elastic in the cuffs. I like to pin a safety pin on either side and feed it around while the other pin, I sometimes pin it to the seam allowance or something so that the elastic will never get pulled accidentally through the rest of the cuff. Then as I finish working away around, I pull them out and this one I'm actually just going to zigzag them together instead of doing the square. That way if I ever want to pull it in or anything, I have an easy way to do so. And that's it. That's the basic way to make these bloomers. Woo, look at how cute they are. I'm so excited. And the bloomers are done. I am super excited to get started 
on this biking costume. And I am so happy with how this lace dye, this tea dyed lace turned out. I like being able to make sure my lace doesn't totally contrast with the muslin and tea dyeing that stark white lace down really helped tone it down. Definitely check out this video to see how I did that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see as we work through building a biking costume from the turn of the century. I'm super excited. Don't quite know when it will happen, but I'm super excited to get started. And definitely make sure to check out the video where I pattern drafted these bloomers in Adobe Illustrator and maybe get you inspired to start your own journey in Adobe Illustrator as well. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.